Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another Atlanta Brickco haul video. We're here with more cool stuff as always. Let's get started. We've got a built bonsai tree and a succulents set right here. It even comes with the pink flower leaf pattern. Oh, dang it, there goes the phone. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. We've got a Space Shuttle Discovery here. Really nice set, very well sculpted. I think it has the stand here as well. I don't see the satellite, but I do see some of the solar panels here. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. The satellite is actually packed inside, so we're good to go. Very cool. Got a Jeep Wrangler. The front looks a little bit funky, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, you got an old Hagrid's hut here with the roof. Pretty cool set. I wonder how difficult it is to attach this thing, though. It might be kind of tricky. Anyway, got a nice Empire State Building. It's a pretty cool... Uh, tan grill tile pack right here. You've got the ship in a bottle. That is a really nice set. Looks like this one's in quite good shape. So if you need one of these, that's going to be nice and affordable soon. Got a newer pod racer here, Anakin's pod racer. Spider-Man helicopter, absolutely worth it, except for the uh, white uh, net is a pretty cool piece. Got a few Minecraft builds back there, great for parts unusual colors and here we've got some cool stuff some older cool stuff you got these older pod racer sets you got this green one here i don't know whose this is if you know let me know in the comments you got another one right here this blue and red the red white and blue and you got anakin's over here with the anakin minifigure as well so that's pretty fun we've also got uh, a bunch of these old i'm guessing these are 80s let's see 1985, 1985 shovel truck, steam shovel, and uh, this one doesn't have the title on it, does it? No, yeah, the big crane right there. So some really cool 80 sets. They actually have their original price tags, $1.99 for this bad boy back in 1985. That's actually an expensive set, I believe, back then. That's pretty cool. Of course, now it seems very nice and affordable. All right, we've got some built stuff over here. We got a built justifier. Uh, built, what is this? McLaren? Yeah, McLaren Senna. Very cool. And then we've got a bunch of bagged sets here. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on because they're in these shopping bags. There's a new TIE fighter. Got a Republic era ship here. Some built Star Wars big things. There's a fighter tank. Public fighter tank. There's some bad cop right back down there. So kind of hard to tell what's going to Desert Skiff, maybe, with some figures. We'll be opening these up like a kid on Christmas, trying to figure out what's going on. Here's a General Grievous wheel machine thingy. So, a lot of different sets in there. There's a sand speeder. That pirate build was here last week, so that's not new. And I think there's a few things down here, and that's about it for the table here. We got a Carnage bust. It's pretty cool, like the teeth. You got a great parts pack in the uh, Emmett's spaceship. You got those Greebly spaceship parts as well as the yellow and blue slopes and bricks, so pretty cool. Um, we got a number of bagged sets. Some of these are actually Bionicle themed. I think most of these are Bionicle themed. So Garrett will be getting to work on these and see if we can build them or complete them and put them up for sale. And then over here, we've got a whole bundle of these newer CMF figures. They are pretty awesome. You got Series 22, 24, and 23. And uh, a number of each one. I don't know if it's like a complete set, but we'll quickly identify them and put them out for sale because some of these are very expensive. Like I know the, the Snow Guardian's pretty collectible, the Falconer, the uh, Crown Knight uh, girl, she's pretty awesome. So some great figures there. Speaking of great figures, let's head over to the back here. All right, we are back here with the minifigure area, and we've got a couple of cool sections of figures here. First of all, we've got these new Avatar minifigures. Looks like almost a complete collection of them, uh, including some of the human characters. I see some, one of the creatures, the Stingray, looking pretty awesome. So if you're looking for those characters, we actually have a number of them here, and they will be out for sale soon, I'm sure. We've also got a bunch of Harry Potters, some Lord of the Rings. I see some Dimensions characters here, too. And, uh, yeah, Supergirl, really cool figure there. Wicked Witch, some Lord of the Rings 
Even got the uh, Gremlins characters. That's awesome. So those will be out for sale soon as well. Over here, we've got a bag of Ninjago. So the, I think this is the relatively recent underwater ones, I think. Or maybe they're the ones that are above the ground. I'm not sure. Yeah, these are the more recent ones. The ser serpentine looking guys, the orange ones. Super cool. Also got a few more Harry Potter. A couple more interesting characters down here. You got that flying... Well, I say it's a hippogriff, but they, they look more skeletal. Somebody tell me what that is. I forget the name. Uh, a couple cool CMFs here. Got the purple space alien person. Turkey guy. Ooh, the little elf girl. The, the little braids. That's cool. Got a bunch of... Star Wars and some Marvel CMFs happening here. I like those Mandalorian characters. They look pretty cool. You also got the Geonosis Battle Troopers there from Star Wars. Another Avatar character floating around here too. Some Marvel figures. Some very cool Iron Man figures hiding in here. I see a Morbius too. Some Thors. Loki. I think that's the Loki with the new helmet. I could be wrong. I think that's the new Loki. Um, but yeah, some good figures in here for sure. Good Marvel characters. A couple of Speed Champions. None of these are that rare, I think. So, oh, there's James Bond. That's kind of cool. If you need James Bond, we've got him. Got some city space figures. I do like those cool astronaut uniforms. Hot dog stand. A couple of Jurassic world characters here old ian malcolm oh that's a little sad there you go a couple more dc figures here i think i see a scarecrow oh there's a drax down here a couple guardians of the galaxy some more avatar characters here too oh ghost rider so a couple of good ones some star wars thugs jawas luke skywalker han solo pretty cool all right, over here, we've got a bundle of very mixed minifigure parts. I'm not going to go into as detail on these because they're very uh, disassembled. There's a cool Pharaoh guy, though. Uh, see, Pharaoh's Quest. So, not too easy to spot everything, but there are some cool parts. We'll try to sort these back into their original shape if possible. Some of these might end up in the Build-A-Fig, though. Maybe not the cow, though. That's pretty collectible. Alrighty, and then I think that is about it for today here in the back, guys. So there's a dragon and a Indoraptor, too. So, yeah, that looks like about here for minifigs. Okay, so the real news story today is this big haul that Ed got from the big white van today. So this is a bunch of awesome older sealed sets. And uh, let's dive in. We've got a ton to go through here. So we've got the Nintendo Entertainment System. Haven't seen those in a little bit. They're very cool. Haunted House. Very nice. Voltron. A fantastic set. Very cool. Getting more expensive these days. All of these sets are going to be a little bit on the pricey side. Imagine one Voltron. <laughs> Voltron's awesome, Joe. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Ferris wheel looking good. This is very collectible, too, if you like the roller coaster line. The fairground type sets. You got uh, the Silent Mary. This is one that Joe wants. I think it's pretty cool, too. A little bit fragile, though. You got to be careful with it. Got some Lego Batman movie minifigures here. Some uh, books, some brick. Uh, Avengers Advent Calendar. You've got another set that Joe really wants is this awesome treehouse set. We got a few of those in stock right now, but having one more is not going to hurt us. We've got the piano in here, and that's exciting to see. I don't think we've really gotten that many pianos. Um, over here, we got a <laughs> only at Toys R Us XL Creative Brick Box. I think that little badge there makes this set way more special, so that's pretty cool. Um, you've got an awesome roller coaster, the original one, not the uh, loop coaster, so that's pretty awesome. We've got an awesome new sealed Ninjago City here, and it is beautiful. This has become very collectible as they continue to make Ninjago City themed sets. Got the modular police station back there too, and a number of CMF boxes here too. Looks like they all have figures in them. Ooh, the old flower bouquet, that's really nice. Very cool. Let's see what we got over in this corner here. We've got the Destiny's Bounty from the Lego Ninjago movie. This looks great. 
as all those cool figures in a fantastic build. You've got some Lego friends happening here. It's the Heart Lake Summer Pool. Pretty fun. Got the slides in there. You got uh, some Disney Princess, one of the original ones. Very cool. Hogwarts Train. We've seen a few of those before, but it's good to see them. Some smaller gift with purchases, Star Wars, brick box, and some elves. So we'll actually see even more elves in just a second. There's the uh, Emily and Noctura's Showdowns. That's a cool set. Over here, a few more Disney princess items. You got the Enchanted Tree House with those very cool birch tree pieces. Very nice. You've got, it looks like a Saturn V sitting right here. Not sure which version this is, but it's very nice, very cool. You've got another modular, the bookstore, bookshop. Some poly bags, Captain Marvel, Creator Bunny, Disney Princess. You got Mickey and Minnie Mouse. You got the Lunar Lander. Garrett likes these space ones. They're pretty cool. Ooh. The Lego Ideas Once Upon a Brick Storybook. This is super cool. It opens up. It's a great set. You don't see it in the box all the time, though. That's very nice. A few Jurassic World and a few uh, kind of slightly older Star Wars hanging down here. Looks like the Friends Cafe as well. Scoot over here. We've got a built Disney castle with the lighting kit installed. We'll assemble this and see how the lights look in a minute, so that'll be going out for sale. I'm guessing built as is. It'll take a long time to take it apart, so might as well leave it together. We've got even more sets over here. Uh, let's get started with this one up here. We've got some flexible train track and some straight pieces here. The Flintstones, Lego Ideas, that's cool. Very thick, chunky box here. Got some Lego Marvel down here. Some of those classic Marvel sets like the uh, Hall of Armor, Thanos Battle. Ooh, this is one of the more fun sets from the Lego Batman movie. You got the Justice League anniversary party where Batman wasn't invited for some reason. You got uh, some more Disney Princess sets here. Ooh, this looks like a Sanctum and possibly, yep, another Sanctum. So two of the older Sanctum Sanctorums. Very good figures in there. Got some split tracks. Got a Steamboat Willie. There's some good stuff hiding in here. Wow, this is awesome. Got uh, Doctor Who mentions Teen Titans Go. Very cool. Got Starfire there. You got um, the gift with purchase uh, Avengers Tower mini build with the unique Iron Man figure. More elves. This is Air, uh, Aria's, Aria's airship. Aria's airship. Pretty cool. I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> you got a few more Marvels. You got Iron Man busts here. You got uh, Thor's weapon quest with Groot and Rocket, I believe. Yeah. There's party time with Unikitty. You got the older Quinjet from Endgame. You got the Stark Jet, another good set from uh, Far From Home. Another advent calendar for City. I think that's about it for this box. This is mostly elves and some friends stuff over here. Really like this one, the Secret Market uh, Place. Very cool. Got some cool owl figures, animal characters. There's an old clearance price tag at $30. This is probably. Uh, well above that, I'm guessing at least double. You've got the uh, Arias Pegasus sleigh, very cool. I do like the Pegasus figures, they're awesome. Heart Lake Lighthouse, there we go. I'm just thinking of all the Heart Lake City drama things that could be happening here. Let's see. You got. Faran and the Crystal Hollow. I do like crystals too. Oh, oh. Over here. What do you got? Unikitty's uh, simple builds. <laughs> Amazing. I Sim love it. Unikitty's simple builds right there. Nexus to Zach loves Unikitty. So we'll yeah. have to make sure he watches this video. That's great. So, hey, we were at uh, down in Orlando mm -hmm. and somebody pronounced it Unikitty. <laughs> Unikitty? <laughs> hey, can I get that Unikitty? And I'm like, what? 
<laughs> that's it. Actually, you know, if you, if you spell it out, that's, and yeah. Phonetically, that's one way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, an that's a possibility. Can I get an unicorn? Can I get an unicorn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you. Alrighty. Where were we? So, more elves down here, too. So, the fire dragon's lava cave. I do like lava caves, too. So, this is, this is, I think elves is like the theme that I really missed out on back in the day. And now I wish I had collected all of them. Pop Stars uh, Show Stage. That's a great set, too. Looks like Andrea decided to be the backup singer for Livy. So, there you go. Very shiny, very cool set. A Friends Advent Calendar. That's that's fun. Another Advent Calendar that looks like a city one. We got Dimensions Starter Set, but without the um, technology. So I think this is just the, the base and the figures. That, that might be it, actually. That might be most of it. And then we've got some more friends. Oh, this is the classic Heart Lake Supermarket, where uh, Mia decided to shoplift the supermarket. This is pretty bad. Daniel's trying to stop her, but, you know, policemen didn't exist back then. Uh, so let's see. we got Star Wars Advent Calendar. number of good Advent Calendars here. Ooh, the Friends theme park with the huge roller coaster. This is a great set. Very cool. This would make a good Heart Lake City drama if you think about all the shenanigans these friends are getting up to. Let's move all these advent calendars out of the way for a second. You got a toy and grocery shop, a very cool Lego creator set. Kind of like a uh, smaller modular building. You got more elves. I love it. Oh my gosh, all these elves sets making me want them so bad. Uh, Magic Rescue from the Goblin Village. This is kind of more of a scary elves set. You got these spiky trees and cool buildings with goblins. Man-eating plants, very un unhospitable place. So. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Breakout from the Goblin King's Fortress. It has a portal and a cool gate with goblin warriors guarding it. And she's got a golden sword. This is kind of militaristic. I like it. I like that cool like bright yellow, uh, bright green castle too. Very menacing. Awesome set. All right. What else we got here? Oh, a duplicate of that one. Very nice. So we've, if you need one, we've got two. It makes it a little easier to find them. Oh, hold on. This is one of the most iconic elves that has the, the awesome Queen Dragon's Rescue. So you got this cool landscape. And then you've got this massive, beautiful white dragon up here. That's that's pretty cool. It's very cool to see it in the box too. So that'll be out for sale soon. New sealed. Got the Rosalind's healing hideout. After you've battled with the goblins, you can come here and heal up. Very cool. There's another goblin trap there. Awesome. And uh, a couple superhero girls set there. Got another elves, Emily Jones and the baby wind dragon. Those that purple dragon's egg is super cool and super valuable. So that's gonna be out for sale soon. That's awesome. Oh, and the Goblin King's evil dragon. And some goblins and crystals going on over here. The Goblin King. That's pretty radical. Well, that's all for this bin. Let's see what else we have over here. We've got a couple copies of this set, which is the Skyra's Mysterious Sky Castle. That's awesome. Got the fantastic portal shape. I think it opens and closes with the turning of the keys. Great build overall. Very, very cool looking. Many cool techniques. I think we've got one, two, three of those. We've got the Secret Marketplace again. I think we have another one of those. And, ooh, the Elves Treetop Hideaway. Another super iconic elves set so one of those as well a couple of smaller friends and elves you got the, the capture of sophie jones so the goblins are trying to capture sophie oh dear oh no and then you got the the jungle bridge rescue another friend set very cool a couple boxes in here and a bunch of dimensions too you got beetlejuice harry potter i think that's actually hermione yeah Unusual hair color for the mining bad guy. You got uh, <laughs> Love All, ooh, the Joker, and Harley Quinn, Simpsons, 
some really good uh, dimensions going to be going up for sale soon. Almost forgot Stranger Things, the Upside Down, an amazing set. It's got a beautiful mint condition box here. And the Ghostbusters Firehouse, Upside Down, unfortunately, but it's right here. Very clean, very minty box here. We often see these, but they're often beat up. So this one being so such good condition is excellent to see. We're going to close off on that note, though. So if you need any of these cool sets in your collection, get in touch with us. The links are down in the description. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We sure appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.